given f of x equals 2x squared plus 1 and g of x equals 3x minus 5, find the following. And then we have five examples, a through e. So let's start with a. We want to know what f of g of 2 is. Okay, now welcome to composite functions or composition of functions. Basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be plugging in one function, the g function, into the f function. Now, composite functions is when you basically take two functions and you put them together. Now, the key to composite functions, they might seem scary, but I promise you they're super, super easy. Look on the bottom left-hand corner with composite functions always work from inner to outer. Now, when I mean inner to outer, I'm talking about the innermost parentheses, then work to the outer guys. So you're always going to be looking at the innermost parentheses, then move outward. Now, the second thing that you have to pay attention to is how you would know that you're working with composite functions you need to memorize what composite notation looks like. It could either look like both of these methods, this little F and then the circle G, or an F inside is the G function. So just memorize those two notations. It's not going to be any other type. So as you can see, A through C give you one type of notation, and D and E give the other type. But both of these you're going to be doing the same exact thing. So let's go. With composite functions, you always work from the innermost first. So I'm going to be looking at the g of 2. You see how this is inside the bigger parentheses, right? So that's the first thing I'm going to work with. And over here on the tips and tricks, it says plug in your input. It's usually a number for the inner function and solve. That's all that we're doing. So for the first part, if I just say that, you know, number one, you're going to be doing just g of two. So literally you pick the g function, the g function was over here, and you're just plugging in two for all of your x's, that's it. So if I can just equal this, I'm gonna say g of two equals three times two minus 5. You see that? I replaced all the x values where they were into 2 values. And now I'm just going to work through it. So g of 2 equals 3 times 2 is 6 minus 5. So g of 2 equals 1. Okay, first part is done. Now the second part, down on the tips and tricks, use that new input. It is an output, but we're turning it into an input that we just solved for and plug it into the outer function. So now the outer function, the one outside of the parentheses is the F. This is the outer and this is the inner. So the outer function, if I could just label this as number two, going with the number scheme here, I'm going to be taking F and using what number came out last time. Oh, well, it's just a one. Now, what was the f function? Oh, it was this. It was 2x squared plus 1. So all you have to do is just plug in a 1 for all of the x values. That's it. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to say 2, 1 squared plus 1. Now, just solve it through. f of 1 equals 1 squared is 2. No, just kidding. 1 squared is 1 times 2, which is 2, plus 1. So you get f of 1 equals 3. Now I just want to bring it back to the notation stated before. f of g of 2 is the same thing as saying f of 1. So whether you say which one or not, I don't really care. They both mean the same thing. But the answer is 3. 3 is your final answer for this one. So now, for the rest, I'm going to kind of be going a little bit faster, just because we got five of them to go through, but I think you guys will stick with me. What do you think? Let's try it out. So for B, we have f of g of x. 
box. We'll first pick out who's your inner. This one is your inner. And then the outer one, F. So inners come first, that's number one. Outers come second. So let's go. I'll put a number one here just so that everything flows. They say G of just X. Oh, well, what was G of X? Oh, it's this. I don't have any number to plug in, so I have to keep it the same. 3X minus 5. That's it for this one. I can't do any math. So now what you're going to do for the second part is take the output that you just got and use it as the input of the outer function, which is F. So now this would be F, boop, 3X minus 5, which means that wherever you see an X value, you plug in this value. So let's go. This equals 2, because that's the F value, right? P p the start of the F function. 3X minus 5 squared plus 1. Do you see how literally this was F? f of x equals 2x squared plus 1. All you're doing is you're just putting in that x value for what you solved from before. Now, here comes the algebra part. You just got to see it through. So let's do it. f, 3x minus 5, equals 2. You have something in parentheses squared. That means that you need to write it two times. So 3x minus 5 times 3x minus 5 plus 1. Now we just got to do this math. This is foiling your polynomials where you have to take the first one and multiply it by the first and the second one of the other parentheses and the second one and multiply it by these guys. If you guys don't know this, don't worry. We have videos for this as well, so go check them out, but this is just your average algebra. So I'm just going to go quickly through this. So we have 2, and then 3x three ti three times 3x is a 9x squared minus a 15x minus another 15x plus 25, and then plus 1. I'm just going to clean this all up. Let's see, I have to distribute now. I have this 2 in front. Um, before I do that, I will just group these together. So 9x squared minus 30x plus 25 plus 1. So now, now I will distribute. I got this 2 in the front, so I got to multiply it through. So this would be 18x squared minus 60x plus 50 plus 1. So finally, and to sum it all up, f of 3x minus 5 is the same thing as the beginning when we did the inner and the outer. So this would be the same as f of g of x, and that would be 18x squared minus 60x plus 51, and that's your final answer for the second one, for part b. How did this come back? But anyway, that's okay. Okay, A and B are done. Now moving on to C. Same exact notation here. I got a G of F of X. So, first say what's your inner and what's your outer, right? This is any inner and this is your outer function. So, do your inner function first. Number one, it was just F of X. Okay, well, what was F of X? F of X was 2X squared plus 1. I can't do any math, there's no number here. So I'm just going to take this was my answer and plug it into the outer function. So now when I come down to number 2, g of 2x squared plus 1, right, because this turned into that, g of x was 3x minus 5. So this would be 3, whoop, 3, plug in the new x value, 2x squared plus 1, and then finish it out. So it would be minus 5. 2x squared plus 1. Now here just comes the algebra part. Distribute. I got a 3 in front. I have to distribute it to the rest of the uh, 
part here. So 3 times 2x squared is 6x squared plus 3 minus 5 g of 2x squared plus 1, which is the same thing as g of f of x, because we're getting our final answer. Now all you got to do is just clean it up. 6x squared minus 2, and that is the answer for 2, actually for c. Okay, d, let's see, hmm, I'm probably going to erase I'm probably going to erase A, so let's erase kindly. Boop. Unfortunately, I hate it when my my work goes bye bye, but sometimes it's just gotta. Sometimes it's just gotta go. Okay, D on the left side. Let's do this. D. Oh, now they're giving me different notation. We're not scared. My suggestion is first off, I don't like this notation. If I can do it in the other notation, I will. So look down here on your memorize this. The first function that is mentioned is the outer function. The second function that they mention is the inner function. So all you got to do is just change the notation. This G, since they're both G's, it doesn't really matter, but this G would be the outer one and this G would be the inner one. So I'm just going to change that notation. This is the same thing as G of g of x and now you can clearly see this is the inner and this is the outer same exact idea so let's do step by step one do your inner first oh well they just said it was g of x right and what was g of x g of x is just 3x minus 5 okay that was easy second part is now you're plugging this part in into the outer function, and the outer function was just a g, so 3x minus 5. And we're using the g function again, so it would just be 3, input this, because that's your new x value, 3x minus 5, minus 5. Now I'm just going to pull it over to the left a little bit over here so that we don't invade space. So g of 3x minus 5 equals distribute, I got a 3, I got to distribute it to all of these. So 3 times 3 is 9x minus 15 minus 5. So whether you say g of 3x minus 5 or g of g of x, or if you say g composed with g, of x. It's all the same nonsense. I'm just going to put the answer over here. It would just be 9x minus 20 because negative 15 minus 5 is 20. And that is your final answer for D. Whew, we are almost done, guys. Come on. Let's go. Let's erase some more stuff. B is going bye bye, unfortunately. Um, just to make room for E. Okay. Let's get down to it. Last one. Finish strong. E. F. Composed at F. And now they have a negative 2. Once again, I hate this notation, so I'm just going to pull it out. But remember, the first one is the outer. The second one is the inner. They're both F, so who cares? But just in case on a test or something they have it different, just make sure which one is which. So this would be the same thing as F of F of negative 2. So we're back to doing numbers here. Okay, we got to do the inner function first, f of negative 2. So I'm going to say 1. f of negative 2 is use that f function and plug in negative 2 for any x's. So 2, negative 2 squared plus 1. Now, just use your algebra. You got this. It's just plugging it in now. Negative 2 squared is a 4, because this is negative 2 times negative 2. And then 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1. So f of negative 2 is 9. Okay, now I have to use this 9 and plug it in for the outer function. And the outer function was f. So let's go. Number 2 f of 
nine, because that's literally what you got to plug in. Use the F value again, or the F function again. Plug in nine for all of your X's, so it'd be two times nine squared plus one. Finish it out. Use that algebra. Nine squared is nine times nine. It is not nine times two. All right, anything squared is just timesing it by how many times. So in this case, two, two times. So nine times nine is 81. 81 times two is 162. So 162 plus one. So f of nine is the same thing as uh, f composed with f at negative two, which is the same thing as f of f of negative two, which is, drum roll please, 162 plus one is 163. Okay, whew, geez. That was crazy, but I kind of liked it. It was fun. What'd you guys think? Um, but yeah, I mean, we did all the questions. Hopefully this helped, guys. Hopefully I made it easy or, you know, the easiest as possible. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Love to hear from you guys. And if you want to help us out, please hit the subscribe button. I'm not really begging you, but it would help our channel out a lot. And, you know, I really love doing math for you guys. So that's my way of saying thank you. All right. So I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.